How you doing? John from John's Woodworking. I'm here to show you how to build a small sharpener for your jointer or planer blades. And um, so far what I got here, what I got done is two pieces of blocks of wood. They're straightened, they're uh, jointed and nice parallel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, glue these two together. Uh, I'm going to do a glue up and uh, make my sharpener from this. All right, All right that's better. Oh, here we are. Got our boards, we're gonna glue them up. Uh, very simple, right? I think I'm going to uh, round over the top here uh, with a round over bit on my little uh, handheld router. Uh, that way so my hand doesn't, you know, it's kind of comfortable at that point. But I'm going to do that all later. Uh, for now, what I want to do is I want to cut the, uh, I'd like to cut the angles for the blade to sit in. And uh, that's going to be set at uh, 40 degrees. So, I don't know if you can see this or not on the uh, screen. It's a, uh, it's kind of a, a dial indicator. Or, uh, it's, it's an angle finder. That's the name of the thing. Anyways, um, these are great. Uh, great little tool. I think I talked about it before in my suggestion of tools. Uh, It's uh, at true 90 degrees, which is really important. Uh, but it also, this table right here is, uh, it, it is really flat. It's like the flattest surface uh, in my shop, at least. Uh, so I'm going to find out uh, what the angle of this bevel is right here. This is the bevel. This is the blade for my jointer. And I need to find out what degree that's at. And uh, the only way I know how to do that is uh, put it right on the table itself at an angle. And then uh, what I do here is I put this to zero. And that's that's going to stay like that. Maybe I'll put it like this so you guys can see what's going on. And then I would take it and I would put it right on the blade to find out what angle it's sitting at. Now if you can see that, I know it's backwards inside the film, or inside the camera, but it says 39.6 degrees. Uh, and I'd say, yeah, I'd say that is all, oh, there you go, 40 degrees. Uh, it, it, it's right on. It's right on 40 degrees, right, right, right there. They don't make a 39.6 degree bevel. Nobody's gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna say 40 degrees. And uh, so what I wanna do is make a 40 degree cut, a 40 degree angle in this piece of wood on one side and then the other. And I'll, I'll show you that next.
I'm gonna turn the camera just a little bit here. This is uh, my uh, my radial arm saw. I have blade pitched uh, at 40 degrees, and I uh, pull it. Alright, so I drew a little design on the wood. I'm going to do these cuts next, right here and here. And I think I'm going to do that on the table saw. Uh, these, uh, these are straight right here, so that's easy to do. Uh, this cut right here is easy to do. The only issue is right here. How am I going to get that out? And the rest of it's going to be rounded. That's all going to be rounded so your hand can sit up on the top. So, alrighty, well, we'll keep on working on it. Alright, so, uh, I know I'm explaining a lot, but uh, I figured out how to get this piece out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a dado in here. I'm going to cut this piece out. Then I'll cut the angle, which will meet down to the dado, and it'll cut this triangle part out. So it's going to be a few cuts, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. As you can see, I drew some lines so I can see what I'm doing. I follow them onto the other side. All right, let's uh, let's get this done. Okay, so we made our cuts. I was able to get those kind of triangles out of there. I think I'm going to. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that little bit of uh, angle the way it is. It's fine. All I need to do is uh, I'm going to drill holes in here, <coughs> put my set screws in. Uh, I'm going to round over the edges to make them more comfortable for my hand. And, and there you go. Pretty much done. Uh, I'll put it on time lapse because I don't want to bore you to death. We're gonna make this video not as long. So, okay, here we go. Well, I found a little flaw in the wood as I was rounding over this side here. Uh, this is a huge crack right here in the wood, uh, which is not good. I'm gonna put my single blade on this side, I think. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this up. I'm going to put filler in there. I'm going to put actually uh, wood uh, glue yeah, mixed with sawdust and, uh, and fill it all in. Good morning. Well, back again. I finally made my uh, sharpening instrument. As you can see here, we put in uh, the little uh, the little um, facets and, uh, and, and these uh, hook right inside of it. That's what's going to be pinching down the blade. Let me show you in just a second here. Alrighty, so uh, I put these, uh, I put the blades in and uh, I put them in with a, a piece of wood. I just, you know, it's not going to damage your, your blade. So I, I kind of hammered them down a little bit, make sure they're nice and uh, flush down to the bottom and uh, you know whatever whatever the bottom is is okay the main part is that you want these things level uh, as much as possible um, I think mine is pitched up a little bit so it'll get the edge which is okay um, you know I might have made a mistake on on the, uh, the cut itself uh, but just as long as it's you know grinding the tip every time uh, you got a sharp blade at that point. So what I did was I put them in finger tight. I didn't crank these things down. They're just in there finger tight. Uh, I can get them out later. You know, I don't. You don't need to crank these things down at all. Uh, it's just enough where they don't come out, right? And then when you want to get them out, you just loosen them up with your fingers. So the next part is sharpening. So let me show you that. So what I do here is I uh, just take some penetrating oil and I spray down the glass. This is a this is a glass cutting board. I spray it down a little bit 
and then uh, the, the paper will stick to the cutting board uh, pretty nicely. And then I take a little bit more and I lubricate the uh, sandpaper. Now this is uh, 600 grit. Mine doesn't need a whole lot of uh, a lot of sharpening, but uh, you know if I wanted to really uh, give it a good sharpening, you start off with maybe like a 200 uh, grit sandpaper. And then you work your way up probably to about a thousand, you know, or uh, 1200 grit. So anyway, you, all you do is go back and forth, back and forth, here it right. And if you have a Sharpie, you can put a Sharpie pen line all along this. I can actually tell right now, I don't know if I can pick it up on the camera, but uh, there's actually a line right here where it's sharpening, and it's sharpening right on the edge, which is what I want. It's gonna make a micro bevel for me, and uh, it'll be razor sharp when I'm done. All right, well, we're gonna put this fast forward and see what we got. Here we go. Alrighty, well these things are so sharp right now, it's pretty scary. Uh, I'm going to take these out and I'm going to show you how to finish them off because right now there's a slight burr on the back side of these and you don't want that. So I'm just going to take them out and very easy to take these out uh, and the oil did not get onto the cutting uh, only on onto the uh, only onto the blades themselves, so it's not going to ruin the wood. Even if it did get a little bit of penetrating oil on the, on the wood, it will dry out after a while. Alrighty, so put the jig aside. We're going to take be careful with these because there's a slight you can feel it. There's a slight burr on the back end of these, so we want to put them down like this. The non-blade side, obviously, down first. Put it flat down and what you're going to do is you're just going to just take that burr off and you're not putting a lot of pressure on the back and, and that's plenty and even not uh, you can even do like maybe a couple of strokes and yep yep that burr is gone so we're going to move on to the next one we're going to put it down like so give it a back pull first it. Oh boy. Woo. Those are nice. Looks like they're brand new. Alright. Pull, pull, pull. Alright. That should be good enough. And the burr is gone. They're heavily oiled right now because they have penetrating oil on them. So you probably want to take a, a napkin or something like that and just wipe them off a little bit and that's what we'll do next now my next video is going to show you um, how to install these blades into uh, your jointer and um, if you have an old jointer that's perfect because that's what I have an old one uh, it's a craftsman uh, old six inch jointer and um, pretty much this will be about the way that you uh, you install these blades almost on all of the jointers with the style um, of lift inside of it. So, well, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and tick the bell for notification. Thank you.